This is a Lego Star Wars mock. This is my Mandalorian Armors Land Speeder. The armor in Mandalorian Season 1, awesome character. I think she deserves her own vehicle. So my last video was a speeder bike for her. I thought it'd be fun to design a land speeder for her as well. So kind of take you around and a quick look at things. You might see some familiar pieces from the Mandalorian Forge set. And that was done intentionally. Kind of get it, get a good view of everything. It's kind of the front angle here. You can see uh, that sticker that was used in the Mandalorian Forge set. Kind of the overall bird's eye view shape of it. Kind of an angle from the back here. Get a better view of that. We'll look at the features of the ship now. First off, we'll look at the cockpit. You can see pretty basic seat, couple little handles there, and a computer panel for her. Very minimal windscreen. Also, you can see this awesome Mandalorian hologram cylinder piece that was included in the that same Mandalorian Forge set. So I thought it'd be cool to have it here. And while she's driving around, she'll be chatting with her, you know, other members of that covert. Thought that piece fit in well, better than it would have fit in the speeder bike. Didn't have too much room for that one. Um, the engine of this ship, I just went with one massive engine in the back here. Um, these uh, pieces right here, they're pretty much copied and pasted from the Mandalorian Forge set. A couple pieces removed, a uh, slight different design there. But I think the, the one beefy big engine in the back propelling this thing forward was a was a fun way to to design this for the overall design the speeder bike for the armor that i designed had a secret compartment for her tools i wanted to include more secret compartments this this build actually has four so the first two are you know pretty obvious they're just these two crates that can be removed from the side here nothing too fancy inside one of them we have just a just a just several just a few pistols here and then in this one we have some some of the ice skates i was just trying to look for some metallic pieces that could be maybe representative of some beskar chunks so we'll put these crates back in their spots. They just slide in nicely right there. They also give some some good texture to the sides as well. The other two secret compartments are actually within these panels here. So you just pull it out. You can see a couple tools there that the Mandalorian armor would use to forge the Beskar and make whistle, whistling birds and all that good stuff. The second secret compartment is right here. We got kind of like that ax hammer thing and then a wrench or whatever you want to call it in the back. So these just fold up into the sides here. And you can kind of see, you know, you can kind of look through like this crack right here and see them a little bit, but they're pretty well hidden and they're not going to be obviously noticeable so those, so those are super fun to design i think my favorite things to include on mocks are these little secret flaps secret compartments holding on to stuff so that was an absolute blast so we'll look on the like underneath it these two bricks are just used to kind of hold it up to pretend like it's you know it's hovering but i feel like this this is kind of a fun design to include on the underside of this speeder bike and you know it's very swooshable um, nothing's gonna really just fall off so yeah we'll stick these back and look at the rest of the stuff so the overall design of this i was really focusing on the color scheme a lot of grays and some browns and 
to fit in with that Mandalorian Forge set. There's a little Easter egg uh, right there in the center of the screen, referencing IG-11. So yeah, I was going for that color scheme. I was going for kind of a unique shape of a, of a land speeder, something that I hadn't completely done before. I like the, uh, I think these kind of shield pieces are very good in Mandalorian sets. I included one in the speeder bike for the armor. I think they, they're very reminiscent of like the angles in the Mandalorian armor. And, you know, we see Mandalore in the Clone Wars and stuff like that. And they have all these, I don't know, tapestries, wall designs that are kind of reminiscent of, of this shape. So we'll take one last look around things. This was super fun to build. I hope we see this character again, either in later seasons of The Mandalorian, which I think is a definite possibility, or other forms of media. Cool, super cool character, needed her own vehicles, and this is the land speeder I designed for her.